Hi. Um, I just have a couple of questions of clarification. So sure. um, you touched on it a little bit towards the end of your lecture, but if you could describe more, I guess, like elaborate more on what you mean by decency and, mm -hmm. and these, these fundamental values, especially in light of the statements that you just made in response to the question, not this last question, but before this, recognizing the fluidity of culture and cultural values and the existence of cultures that don't necessarily share the same values, and how, how do you account for that, moving towards a common set of values? How do you, if you believe that it is useful, develop coalition politics in order to move towards a collective sense of value? How do you reconcile individual motivation if you believe fundamentally? Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of complexity here, but yes. Yeah, I mean, so uh, if you, I mean, like, if you, but honestly, I, I mean, so these not are high-stakes questions. Not to go all religious on you, but leaving aside the religious aspects of the Ten Commandments, I think that would be a pretty good place to start with basic decency. Right, don't steal, don't. I, you know, I'm, I'm a deeply religious person. I'm an Orthodox Jew. I don't think that it's mandated that everybody believe in God, obviously, and I think that, you know, and I understand the arguments for atheism. That, that said, I think that, you know, basic values that we all, that we in Western civilization tend to share are things like you don't get to kill people, you don't get to kidnap people. Uh, I think that, that values that have developed later, anti-slavery values, for example, that are a later breaking development from Western civilization, uh, you know, that, but have roots in Judeo-Christian civilization, uh, th those are values that, that are fundamental values of decency. The, the ones embodied in the, in, the, in the Constitution seem to me to be good values. Like, I don't get to har harm you because, I don't get to use the government as a club against you because I disagree with what you say. I don't get to use the government as a club against you because I disagree with your religious practice that doesn't infringe on me. Uh, I have sort of a John Stuart Mill view of interpersonal decency when it comes to governmental intervention, and that is I get to wave my fist around as much as I want so long as it doesn't hit your face. Well, g give me an example. So, slave, so, so, as, as, so as I say, the, the John Stuart Mill system would definitely not value slavery. I mean, that's, that's not me waving my fist around until I hit your face. That's me putting you in chains. I mean, that's, that's, not, that, that's, that's a fundamental human evil because I'm violating somebody else's rights. So it's, it's the, 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 the basic value that originally springs from the notion that we're all created in God's image and then, con and then you know, consummates in, in the idea that we're all equal under 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 God and that we all have equal rights under God, that doesn't, that doesn't allow things like, like slavery. And it, and, it, and, it, and it fights against things like slavery. Now, where I think that, that some people get dicey about this, I don't want to lead you here, but I think this is where some people get dicey about this idea, is they say, okay, well, what about the things where I'm waving my fist around and I'm not formally hitting you in the face, but you're, but you're getting me upset? So, for example, if you have a private business and the private business decides to discriminate against Jews, right, or decides to discriminate against blacks or against gays, right, is that, what would you do about that? So I don't think the government has any business telling private businesses what to do because I think that capitalism is colorblind and that means that if somebody discriminates against Jews or blacks or gays, they'll go out of business. There'll be other people who offer their services. <laughs> the problem is once you start to let, once you start to let government or society take a, take a forced stand and enforce stand as to what quote unquote good behavior is and bad behavior is, you start to get into real trouble, but I think we can all agree what actual harming behavior looks like. Actual harming behavior is not me denying you a service that I don't owe you in the first place. Actual harming behavior is me stealing something from you, punching you, taking your children, you know, the, the, something that you have a right to, I'm taking, I'm taking away from you. And you don't have a right to my services. No one does. So just to be clear, is that something that you would define as my last question? Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, so, so, so now you're getting into a broader question, which is, are any values objective or subjective? All values, I suppose, in the end, are going to be subjective, but I think the ones that we can most easily agree on, and the ones to which there's an objective standard anyway, that doesn't require you to read my mind, let's find a standard where we don't have to read each other's mind. So a standard where I don't have, it, microaggressions require me to read your mind. I have to try and figure out what's going to offend you and what's not. I don't have to read your mind to know you probably don't want me to punch you in the face. Right? Like, there's, there's an objective standard there where I don't have to read your mind. We all sort of agree. And, and if, we, if we can't agree on that, we can't agree on literally anything, and then society's over. So I guess time to, to buy your, your, food, your food parcels and, and build your bomb shelters, if that's the case. If we can't all agree it's bad to hit each other in the face, then we have no place to start.